Hello, I am doing stage three. Um, we're going to start with what it is. As far as what stage three is, it is the third and final stage in a helping process or a helping session. Um, and it basically answers the question, um, how do we make it happen or what do we do um, after stage two, of course. So what it is, uh, stage three has like three main parts to it. Um, one of it is, one part of it is exploring possible strategies. Another part is exploring the best fit strategies. And then the third part of it is exploring the plans um, that you can have with a client, uh, or at least the client has for themselves. And part of the plans includes SMART goals, which is an acronym. Um, as far as why it's used, well, as you'll see here, it implements the client's intentions so a client will come in with an intention of what they want to see happen, which is explored in stage two. But in stage three, you really go over the implementation of it, um, which comes to action right here. Um, and when you go through stage three with a client, after you establish a plan, it kind of prompts the client to action. Um, and when they take an action after they leave a session or whatever it is they may do that, um, it can lead to problem managing outcomes. Of course, not all the time, but that is why we use stage three in the helping process is because it kind of helps take the next step instead of just exploring what's going on. It's now doing something about it. And that is what stage three is and why it is used. I was thinking of making a police report and telling them what I noticed is uh, missing um, and go from there and hopefully they could find out who got, uh, who stole the trailer. Okay, so then go to the police? Yeah, I think that would be um, the best and the best option and um, I think we'll be able to get it back faster going through the police. Okay, well see, I think that you should just go hunt the person down. I think that'd be much faster and save a lot of time because you know those police take forever. But I think you should just go find yeah, the person. Um, I mean, I guess that could work out, but um, if, I don't know, I think if they would, the police would be able to handle and do their job better if we uh, go through them and they could actually make better arrests and stuff, so. Um, there's not much we could do for looking for them ourselves and if we okay. find them. Okay, so have you thought about like tracing them down? Like, because that's what the police are going to do anyway, right? Yeah, I mean, I, I yeah, I guess, um, I guess we could uh, maybe think about doing that. That, that could be an option okay. as well. Well, thank you for sharing with me, Jackie. Thank you. All right, good. Okay, so obviously that was the incorrect one. Um, but as for why, one is because I was not rolling with the best fit option for her. Clearly, she was emphasizing that she wanted to go through the police, which would have been the best fit option for her. But I, not only did I give advice, which is a huge no-no in general, but also I didn't go with what was best for her, um, especially what she thought was um, best. And you're always supposed to roll with what the client thinks um, and what they say. So that is why it was incorrect. Okay, so I'm hearing that you want to find your trailer. That's what you said. Yes. Okay, what are some ways you can maybe go about doing that? Uh, I was thinking maybe go through the police and file a report. Yeah. File a report? Yeah, uh, so they could get um, a case started and find out maybe who was around the area, who to be looking for and stuff. Okay. okay. What might be an alternative way you could do? Um, maybe, I know there's a lot of things stolen around the valley right now. There's a lot of people stealing. Um, we've thought about just uh, making an insurance claim Ooh. and just getting our money back, our money for the, for the trailer. But even to do that, we still have to make a police report. Okay. Um, so either way, the police report would have to be made uh, just even just to do an insurance claim uh, that it was stolen. 
Okay, so correct me if I'm wrong, it sounds like a police report is going to be needed mm -hmm. no matter what route you take. Yeah. Okay. All right, well, we're going to do a SMART goal. Okay, so that was the correct way to go through stage three or to go about it. Um, one, because I avoided advice giving altogether. Um, and two, because I rolled with what was going to be best for Jackie and um, what was she was saying and going off of as far as like the police report. Um, and that is why it's the correct video. And that basically concludes my video on stage three. Thank you very much.